So what happened in the earth was 350 crore years ago, uh, some molecules came together and formed some long chains of molecules called RNA and DNA, which enclosed itself in a cell membrane and became bacterium. So those single cells and as they multiplied, made copies of themselves, there are some errors in the DNA, obviously called mutations. These mutations added up over millions of years, giving rise to all kinds of diversity of life on the earth. And it kept on going on, going on and going on for 350 million years, giving rise to all kinds of diversity of life on the earth. Plants, fish, animals, mammals and ultimately humans. All of the life on the earth came from one common ancestor. This is the tree of life created by scientists based on the, their genetic uh, differences in genetic map based on DNA. 98% of our DNA is uh, you know, similar to a chimpanzee. 98%, 80% to a cow, 60% to a chicken, 80% to a mouse, 82% to a platypus and 71% our DNA is same to that of a zebra fish. So you can look at the anatomical similarities of orangutan, western gorilla, chimpanzee and human. Almost same. And look at the brains of different man, um, you know, mammals. Human is the largest. Chimpanzee, baboon, mandrel, macaque, bear. You see, until it goes to the mouse, it's almost the same. This is crazy, right? Yes, sir. And look at the anatomical similarities of a hand of a human, dog, bird and a whale. The same structures because we all have one common ancestor. All of the life on the earth came from one common ancestor. We are all connected. You, me, the plants, everything, we had a common ancestor. So once you go home, once you touch a plant or a tree, just imagine how wonderful feeling that is. You are not just one single human being. You are larger than life. You have so many relatives all across the world going back to millions of years. We are all connected. So if anybody asks you, show me, you know, uh, can I know your relatives? Show them the tree of life. Those are all your relatives, ancestors. Such a beautiful feeling, right? Then why people fight about like jealousy, hatred, wars, like Russia is invading Ukraine and China wants to encroach other countries. Then in this sense, it all looks silly for me. Now it looks silly for you as well, right? We must have a kind of empathy that gives you a uh, larger than life feeling. We are all connected. We are all bigger than we imagine. The world is in us. Right? The world is one. The life on the earth is just one. We are all connected. So no hard feelings, no wars, nothing. Only peace. Peace. <laughs>